this video, I'm going to show you a play that is absolutely equipped to basically beat any zone in the entire game. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. And I'm talking about the trips tight end in this video. If you want to learn my entire trips tight end offense, I'm going to put a link to that down in the description. It's on sale for just $15. Also, if you want to get access to every ebook that I release over the course of the Madden 22 season, be sure to join my Patreon. That's just 10 bucks a month, and you can cancel at any time. You get access to everything. So far, we've released 10 offensive and defensive guides over there. So if you want to start taking your game to the next level, to me, the Patreon is the best deal and the best way to go. Now, in this video, like I said, I wanted to talk today about a simple flood concept out of the trips tight end formation that's going to be able just to beat zone and honestly just give your opponent something else to think about. There's a lot to cover in trips tight end, but this play right here is just a simple check or simple play that you can use. I call it a constraint theory play where you can just kind of essentially mix it in every now and then, and you're going to find that it's going to be open more times than not because people are so busy trying to cover everything else. Now, the play is curl flat out of the trips tight end, and we're just gonna come out in the cover uh, three. And we're just gonna run through some coverages here. So basically, literally all we are going to do is we are going to smart route the tight end, we're going to streak the R1 receiver, and then I like to either hitch or curl the uh, middle receiver of the, or the inside slot receiver on the trips. And what you're gonna see is our first read is always, always, always going to be these curl flat plays. Um, we're gonna try to read that real, real quick. The other, this is, this is again, really important uh, point here. This is primarily something I use against zone. Um, it's okay against man, but it's not my number one man call. You're going to see also the seam streak at the snap of the ball. If they're in zone, you're going to be able to hit that relatively quickly. Now, the beauty of this play, in particularly against cover three, is that this corner route to the tight end does something really, really weird um, to, this, to this inside third or outside third. Most people... Um, let me just shift over to my cover three for a second. Most people, whenever they run their cover three, uh, what you're going to see happen is they are going to have their safety on the trips side. Otherwise, they're going to get seamed to death. You're going to throw in the seam and the seam and the seam and the seam, right? Well, if you go to something like this, what you're going to find now is your right seam is going to be open, specifically against a cover three Mabel kind of concept. So what you're going to see here is if you watch this running back, that slot will go with the running back, and then we can kind of fit that ball in oftentimes with that guy. Now, if you have any trouble at all fitting that in, what I would encourage you to do is to go over here uh, to the play, and instead of putting that inside slot on a curl, just put him on a seam streak. So you've got the streak there, and this is we're just going to basically attack the seams, and what you're going to see is they just can't be right. They just can't win. Uh, Brady can't quite fit it in because he doesn't have Gunslinger, but you see the idea and the concept. Now, that's not the only thing that we can do out of this. Uh, what a lot of people are going to start doing, especially, you know, again, the way Madden works right now, you're going to start to see a lot of deep halves. They're going to deep half their corners out of cover three. So this setup right here really does a number on that because what you'll see is this corner route will get wide open on the sideline. And it's about a 30 to 35 yard corner route um, if you if you run your trips to the short side. So that's another thing that I really, really like. So if they're just sitting out here deep halfing uh, out of this out of this uh, formation, what you should get is enough time in the pocket. You can pass lead that to the outside. Stephon Gilmore makes a crazy play, but again, trust me, uh, you put deep, deep out a lead on that guy, um, which is only like one AP, I think, in, in Mutt, one of the best abilities for the cost right now. Um, you're going to be able to hit that route, okay? And if you're not, then just come back over here. But you're going to read that. If that's open, pass lead it to the outside. And as you see, it gets open against that coverage. Now, this is also a really, really good play, um, specifically against like a Tampa 2 style of defense. So a lot of people right now, they like to run this Tampa 2 uh, kind of style. And the reason why is because it does a good job at stopping deep crossers and stuff like that. Well, what you're going to see with this is look how deep this corner route will get. Again, that's going to get into a really, really good window. Most of the time, that's going to get over 30-yard clouds if they're playing 30-yard clouds, right? So this is just a way that I like to flood that right side, essentially, with a deep corner from the tight end. And then on the back side, if you take a look at this, what we're going to basically be able to get is a three-man concept. Um, you know, really, all it comes down to is who does he use it? Who does he use it, right? Most of the time he's gonna use it. If he's smart, what he'll do is he'll use it the running back. If they don't use it the running back, you're gonna find that this is a really, really good play. 
Now, another thing I wanted to quickly hit on is if you go to if, if you if you guys are watching any competitive Madden, one of the things that people like to do is they will take out of a cover four defense, they will play a hard flat from those guys. Why? Because they want them to start to stop the flat routes, right? So if they're running some match on you, this is another great play if they're doing that adjustment. And the reason why is because if they don't have that quarter flat defender on the field, this is going to be a touchdown every single time. As you can see right here, the running back is going to go right up. And as you can see, he's going to get open. Now, this is why we like to curl to the left side. And the reason why we like to curl is because it's considered a vertical route. It's a 10-yard route. He's going to sit and curl up. And so this becomes a very, very good play when we're starting to talk about and get into the conversation on uh, match defense, right? We're starting to talk about match defense. This becomes a very, very powerful play, especially if you combine the setup that I gave you with the backfield master ability that is, I think, only one AP or backfield mismatch is what I think I use, right? Because you don't need a special hot route. You just need the route running ability. So what you're going to see here is you're going to get a mismatch on a linebacker, right? Now, if everything breaks down, you can obviously come back to your curls and stuff like that. But, you know, at the end of the day, that's a very, very different route combo. Most people aren't expecting a running back streaking out of the backfield, and that's going to get you a lot of uh, just really, really, really good yardage. Okay, so now I want to spend just a few seconds here on the cover four drop. Cover four drop, this is a great play against because they just don't have the numbers. They just don't have the numbers to be able to stop everything that you're going to be able to do. You can easily just, you know, carve them up. Simple spacing concept is all this basically is. And uh, it really is a great little yard gainer. It's just going to be able to uh, don't underestimate that throw right there. Really don't. Because, again, you have to remember, we're going to mix this in with everything else we're doing. And so, you know, they're going to go, you know, they might think you're running that angle route, right? So they're expecting you to go left. And so they cut to the left side. And then they see, uh-oh, he's running down the verticals. And now I'm in trouble because I don't have anyone in that area. So don't underestimate that seam read. I think that's one of the most important things about this concept. Um, you know, if you wanted to, you know, I would really just encourage you to check out this corner. Uh, this corner, for the most part, um, you know, if you have deep out elite, you can aggressive catch. You can, you can, you can do some stuff like that. But uh, this corner route's really, really good. As far as man coverage, I didn't spend a ton of time on man coverage in this video. So let me just go to like a standard uh, man coverage. If you get man coverage, your tight end corner should be open, and both your curls should be open. So you'll see here. Tight end corner just passes the left to the outside, and you see he beats he beats the coverage. And then also, if I wanted to throw um, either one of these curls, for the most part, these curls will get open. Um, you'll see here that left side. I would throw the outside curl, but as you can see, they both are pretty decent uh, against man coverage. So. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn the rest of the Trips Tight End offense, there's a link in the description that will take you to my website. You can get the entire guide for just $15. And just remember, if you join my Patreon, it's a continual ongoing thing. If you join my Patreon, it's just $10 a month and you get access to everything. Every now and then we drop some exclusive tips over there and we also drop all of our eBooks over there for you guys. So you would get access instantly to 10 eBooks for just 10 bucks a month. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you guys later.